Good morning. It's Breakfast at Tracy's. It is Thursday, September the 10th today, and we are continuing on in our series called Connection 101 because there is more to love than a feeling. And we are looking at our need for connection based on the original connection, Father, Son, and Spirit. And we were made in His image. This, this love that existed this connection that existed before time. And today we're looking at connection is being valued. And we're continuing on looking at Matthew 17. And this is what is often referred to as the transfiguration of Jesus. It says this, A bright cloud came over them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. Listen to him. Now, we already talked yesterday about how the, the son brought the father joy, but now there's a little bit added, and this is so important, because the father says, not only does he bring me great joy, you should listen to him. This is so unusual. This is so surprising because, you know, for us humans, we often will say, no, no, listen to me. It's my opinion that matters. I have the answer. I know the way. But here the Father is doing the exact opposite of what comes so naturally to us humans. And it's a sign of great connection. He's pointing out the value in the other person. He could have easily said, you know what, everything that comes out of my son's mouth was my idea. And he'd have been right. Jesus admitted to that. But here, here's the Father. Isn't this fascinating? Here's the Father saying, listen to my boy. Listen to him. He's got valuable things to say. Perk up your ears, lean forward, listen to him. You know, thriving relationships point out the strengths in other people. Destructive ones focus on the faults of each other. You'll know you have a good friend when they tell others about your good traits. And you'll know you are a good friend when you point out the strengths of your friend to others. It says that you value them. You know, one of the things that we have here in, at Nanaimo Alliance Church are things called connect groups, little pockets of people who are devoted to one another. And the, the strength of those groups will often depend on this very thing, how much they value each other, how much they say, you know what, you've got valuable things to say. I want to listen to you. And you know what? Everyone else, listen to this person. They have value. And there's a connection that develops in groups that function like this. And I'll tell you what, it's not easy. It does not come naturally. Like I said, our natural tendency is to say, listen to me. I want everyone to pay attention to me. But here we see in the original connection, them doing the opposite. No, listen to the other person. They have valuable things to say. And the father just backs up and gives all the glory to the Son in that situation. Isn't that amazing? So here's what you can do. If you, wanted, if you want to develop good connections with others, practice pointing out the strengths of those around you. Turn the spotlight on others and not yourself. It is a great way to develop connection. And we see that example in the Trinity, in the original connection. Let's pray. Lord, I ask that you would help us to be humble enough to point out the strengths of the people around us. That we wouldn't demand the spotlight, that we would back away and say, no, the other person has incredible value. We need to listen to them. This is difficult, God, and, and it's only by your grace that we are able to do this. So for all the people who are watching this, Lord, I ask that you'd extend to them your grace, that they would have the ability to not demand that spotlight, but to point out the strengths of others and not their own strengths. God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you that you want us to have connection even more than we do. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Go out there and point out the strengths of others and find how that can give you great connection today. God bless.